Hello everyone, today I want to talk about Linux on phones. This is what's called a Pine Phone, and this is an old OnePlus 6T, which now runs mainline Linux. Not very well, but it does run it. Um, the Pine Phone is popular because, one, you can buy it, whereas the Libra Phone, you really can't. You have to wait months for it because of the electronic shortage. And the OnePlus 6 is very popular because you can find it anywhere used. So it was a really popular phone. Um, Linux phones are great for programmers because you've got complete freedom over your environment. If you want to run a bash script, you can just stick one on there and, and run it. You can SSH into it. Nothing is different than a regular Linux. I mean, the freedom you get from a Linux phone is it's just it's a game changer. Right now, they're not very usable. Um, but I thought it'd be interesting to compare the two. Uh, I've got Arch Linux running Plasma Mobile on the Pine Phone, and I wanted to get Plasma Mobile on the OnePlus 6T, but at the moment, the post-market OS installer for the Edge channel is broken. So the only distro I could get running here is Mobian. Anyway, um, we can see the Pine Phone. People have seen it before. It's really really slow launching a mp3 player takes forever um, the screens are sometimes they don't unlock sometimes they do and this time it did so you see we're still launching it just now launched the mp3 player in the pine phone and they're actually pretty slow to launch here on the oneplus i was surprised Audio is not working on the OnePlus 6 in Mobian. I do hear it works on post-market OS, but I haven't been able to test it because the installer is currently broken, like I said. So you see, it is, it is quite a bit faster on the OnePlus 6. So this is kind of a demonstration of what Linux could look like on a faster device. And this has eight gigabytes of RAM. I think it's a, I think it's a octa-core CPU. I'm not quite sure. I just picked it up off of Amazon during Prime Day. So Firefox ESR does not work. <laughs> it gives me some some error. That's how you close stuff out. But it does come with some sort of fork, mobile fork, of some browser. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it's Chromium. Um, and this is a default YouTube page because I'm not logged in. So, yeah, we can click one, it'll play the video. I don't know if it's hardware accelerated or if just the CPU is strong enough to handle it. It looks like we don't have auto rotation fully working. But there's no audio. So it, it is not useful. There's no, it doesn't, the cell phone network doesn't work. The only things that really work is uh, the touch screen and Wi-Fi. You can't adjust the brightness yet on the OnePlus 6T. At least in Mobian. We have an address book. I'm not a huge fan of the Posh address book. They don't have a vCard importer. They want you to log into Google to import your contacts. And if you're using a Linux phone, you probably don't want to log into Google. The terminal was is confusing. It's called King's Cross. You know, it should just be terminal or something. Term. King's Cross term would be better, so when you're searching it. But yeah, this is just Linux. I mean, and so a lot of people like to say on the internet, oh, Android is Linux, but it's it's been just torn apart by Google. They rely more and more on Google services to run everything. You can use privacy distros like slash E and um, variants of Lineage OS, but I mean, those are kind of like band-aid solutions and it's always playing cat and mouse with Google. Google implement a feature that you have to have Google services to run and then other people have to code against it to get it out. <clears throat> That's what Micro-G is about. But Linux phones would kind of free us.
<clears throat> and they're coming along pretty good. Um, thanks to um, the Pine Phone and the Librem 5, <clears throat> there's been a good good bit of work on, on stabilizing the software. But yeah, the, the OnePlus 6 is kind of what, it, what you'd expect. A modern phone, how a modern phone could behave running Linux. I wish I could get a newer distro on here. You see the time is cut off where the teardrop is at. <laughs> Posh was designed for the Librem 5 and it's got a flat screen. There's no teardrop. I'm not a big fan of these teardrop camera holes either. See, this, some of the apps take forever to load. But yeah, sometimes the Pine Phone doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, it's just, it's really unresponsive. It's basically made out of Play-Doh. Settings are the one thing that takes forever to load. So I am going to go delete this because my phone is useless with it, but it's, it's really cool to see it running on a fast phone. I really want to try Plasma Mobile on this thing. Maybe my next video will be how to compile and run a Linux phone app in um, Qt Kurigami or something interesting like that. Thanks everyone. That's all I got for today. Let me know if you want to see any more videos about Linux running on a OnePlus 6 or a Pine phone.